Speak on it. What if one day someone came up to you and said, Hey, would you like to make a quick thousand dollars? What would you say? Heck yeah, what do I gotta do? And then they tell you, I need you to go clean up the most haunted graveyard in the state. Okay. But then they'd say, but you can only do it between the hours of 10 p.m. and 8 a.m., which means you'll be working in the dead of night. Whoa. Let me take a step back and think about that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be out in a scary-ass graveyard in the middle of the night, but heck, a thousand dollars is a thousand dollars, right? I can guess about 35% of y'all watching this wouldn't do it because of some type of fear of working in a pitch-dark haunted graveyard in the middle of the night, right? I can also guess about 60% of y'all watching this would push that fear to the side because you're all about making that G. It don't matter how hard you have to work. It don't matter how dark or cold it is. It don't matter what crap you gotta clean up. It don't matter how many creepy crawlies, ghosts, goblins, spirits, axe murders, and other unnatural things you gotta confront and battle for 10 hours. When 8 p.m. in the morning comes, you get in that paper. But that only equates to 95% of y'all. Now, let me tell you what me and the other 5% will do. If someone comes up to me and asks, Hey, do you want to make $1,000 cleaning up the most haunted graveyard in the state in the dead of night, working between the hours of 10 p.m. and 8 a.m.? I'm going to be like, oh yeah. But I'm going to do it differently. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find three people and pay them $10 an hour each to clean up the most haunted graveyard in the state in the dead of night, working between the hours of 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. Then, while they're doing that, I'm going to spend time with my family. Probably watch a movie. Get a good night's sleep. Wake up. Have a nice breakfast. Go and collect that money. Give each of those hard-working, tired, groggy, dirty, worn-out people $100 each and thank them for their time and their effort and tell them good job. Then, I'm going to pocket the other $700 for practically doing nothing. That right there is called leverage income because me and that 5%, we value that $700 for practically doing nothing more than we value busting our asses working for 10 freaking hours just to get a grant. And when it comes to your job, they'll do that too. They'll gladly leverage your time and your services because they know that most of you value money over time and value having a job over starting a business and that's why you stay stuck. Don't get mad. That's just the way life is. We're taught to think like that. Our parents done it. Our grandparents done it. Your kids will probably have to do it because unknowingly you're actually teaching them the same thing. Yeah, it's a generational thing. Henry Ford once said that he'd rather have a 1% effort from 100 people than 100% effort from himself. Maybe it's that kind of thinking as to why his name will always be remembered for centuries to come because he was a master at creating leverage income. And he understood that we can always make more money, but we can't make more time. So, if that's the case, then why are you willing to work harder for someone else with your time than you're willing to work for yourself? Hmm. Stop the madness. Get entrepreneurial. Join us in the movement and get moving in the right direction. And if you're feeling what I'm saying or feeling a certain way about how I'm saying it, then in the comments below.